Become a general of mighty armies at the Kings of Warhub. Take command of elves, dwarves, and orcs in this game of masked fantasy combat on beastsofwar.com. Flames of War brings you the battles of World War II in epic 15mm scale. Go to the hub on beastsofwar.com to find news, tactics, and tutorials about the game. So, hi everybody, welcome to What's in the Box. John, back yeah. to historicals for us. Back to historical, it has it's been, been a little while. It has. A little, little while. It has, yeah. We haven't, we, got? we haven't had a lot of opportunities lately. Right, what we're looking at here is the M21 motor carrier, mortar carrier half track. Mortar carrier, no. Mortar, not All motor. Right. That's my accent playing up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, if we have a look under close camera, you can see it here. Yep, really so nice artwork on the front of the box. Yeah, this is essentially the same American Army half track that you all see, you know, the ambiguous half track that rolls around and, yep. you know, does all its thing. But this is the modified one. So okay. this one carries a mortar in the back, not a motor. It carries a mortar. Whose bright idea was this? Because, uh, all right, let's take a slightly armored vehicle yeah. and stick explosives in the back. Well, that's what armored vehicles would excel at. They excel at safely, relatively moving explosive material to and from uh, a combat zone. Yes. Now, the the thing with these is that it's meant to be your close fire support for your mechanized infantry and your tank. So these guys will roll up behind uh, your armored infantry and be like, right, there's guys over there, the bump, and you know, start laying down a bit of artillery fire. Right, w without having to worry about setup times, I'm guessing. Exactly, and you I'm, just roll this thing this up. I'm guessing this can carry a hell of a lot more ammo than two guys with a, a backpack. Yeah, pretty much. But this this is only the first stage of artillery. So you have the the artillery that follows. Right. So you have the motorized stuff that follows. Right. Behind you, if you're a big mechanized division, you've got the bigger stuff. You have the M12 howitzers that are on the back of Sherman chassis, you know, M3 or M4 chassis. Yeah. They roll up and they do the bigger damage. Whoa, I don't, they actually put. Our, Okay. They put, I, I didn't realize they actually did that during World War II. Oh, yeah. They, they, they actually had a Sherman chassis with something on it. Yeah, you, you had that chassis that had... Um, you had the, the British put the 25-pounder on it. Okay. The Americans put a 105 on it. They then made the M12, which I just mentioned, which had a 155 on the back of yeah. it. Yeah. That is an awesome piece of kit. I love the look of it. Anyway, we're talking see, about see that. that building <laughs> there. I don't like that. Delete. That, that, Delete. <laughs> that building offends me. That's gone. <laughs> oh, it's almost as bad as the, the bloody Churchill with the, the fired oh, the dustbin. Yeah, the fired the dustbin, the AVRE. Right, well, yeah. crack, crack this open and pass me some spruce. All right. So we should be by now familiar, you ball action players out there that do Americans, or you know, even if you're doing captured vehicles, should be familiar with this plastic kit by now. All right. So we've got our first spruce. So yep. this has some of the main drivetrain, your front bonnet, some of the sides. Uh, side for the actual driver's compartment and yep. stuff like that. Your, your front wheels, your axle, yeah. so, that sort of stuff. So move in a little closer. So mm -hmm. you've got your, your tow bar and your anti-ditching roller. Yep, well, which which is, it's a winch. Not the roller, the winch. It's not a tow bar, it's a winch. <laughs> okay. I have to tell you that. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, you've got your two front tires, yep. you've got some towing hooks, some jerry cans. Mm -hmm. All pretty standard on this sprue. Yep. And more or less the same on the other sprue. Yes, now, how much of this sprue are we using, I have to wonder? Oh, uh, well, we'll get to that. If right, you want well, to show them anyway. I'll, I'll quickly show you this. Because yep. you've, you've got your main chassis, your crew compartment, mm -hmm. uh, the back doors, yep. uh, some little bits of storage and helmets along here. In yep. fact, I'll go a little bit closer. Because I always love whenever you get little bits like this in here, yes. just for the bit of flavor you get. Mm -hmm. You've got some crew, which is nice to see. Yep, you have the driver, and I yep. believe you have a dude standing up maybe yep. as well. You've got your turret ring, yep. and then you've got some storage bins, is this? Uh, these are the internal storage bins. These are the back of the crew compartment seats. Yeah. Now, this is where this kit diverges. diverges into a hybrid kit. Yes. So we have an insert. We have a fully sculpted resin insert. Yes. And this is gorgeous. So yes. check so that out. I think I can get closer. Yeah. Yep. Here we go. So this so replaces the entire crew compartment, the yep. back door, and the sides of the half track. Yeah, and your driver's compartment. Yep. So that replaces more a lot of the plastic parts. You're just having to glue the chassis to that and then work around it. Yeah. Um, so I you love can see, the details in this. Yeah, it's brilliant. You have all the, the ammo storage up here. Yeah. You have the base plate for the mortar. Yeah. Yeah. You have radio you set even behind have, it. Uh, little binoculars and a gun here. Yeah, binoculars and a Colt 45. You have yeah. all the storage on either side. So you've yeah, got so 
bed roll it's wraps. It's going to look like a great little vehicle. It is, absolutely. Uh, it also comes with the crew for the mortar and the mortar itself, okay, so. as well as the, the Pintle mounted 50 caliber. This didn't have the machine gun pulpit that most of the others, or ah, some right, of the others so have. you don't put that in? You don't put that on either. Right. So you have a pul you have a like a pole that the 50 caliber sits on okay. the back. Well, let's go nice and close here to have a look at our, our crew. So we have our driver. Yep. Yeah. Beep, beep. Very childish of you. Of okay. course. Uh, we have one of our guys covering his ears from the mortar, of course, yes. as you need. Uh, one guy grabbing a round. Uh -huh. uh, the mortar itself, there's a couple of little action bits. Yep, that's the back seat, or the, the seat uh, the back. backs. Sorry. Ah, yes, okay. Yep. And then you have the, the front of the mortar. Mm -hmm. So the kit looks like it's going to be really simple. I'm going to be interested to see how that resin hybrid bit Yes. Actually slots onto the plastic to yep. see if that's a nice easy fit. But I tell you what, we'll go away, we'll build it. Oh, actually. Do you want, do you want the thing instructions? We forgot. Do you want the, two things we forgot. Do you want that So first? we have the instructions. Yep. So you're not going to be left in the dark on this one. Mm -hmm. And it's a nice 3D kit. That looks really nice when it's done. Excellent, yep. And what and else do we get? We need, the, we need to start okay, showing uh, transfer sheets. Yeah. We've been told off. Okay, now the reason <laughs> we don't generally do this is because sometimes it's hard to see on camera. Sometimes. Like now, possibly, because these... Oh, no, 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 that's all well, right. You can sort of see them. Yep. But you just, see, just don't you glare see what I mean? Light. Sometimes you get the light and it's just, you cannot see a damn thing. Yes. But we have all our American, fl our stars, I was about to say flag. <laughs> You're getting uh, flag crazy. I don't know why we have the big red cross, because this is definitely not a medical vehicle. No, but this is a general... Uh, yeah, a general purpose. Yeah, sort of a general American vehicle one, yeah. Well, they are quite nice. Yes, they are. So... Guys, we'll nip away, we'll get this built, and we'll come back in part two to show you the finished product. It's time for 28mm World War II action. Will you recreate history or reshape it your way? On the Bolt Action Hub at beastsofwar.com. From Viking halls to the cities of the future, terrain buffs will love our foreground hub. Watch gaming tables of all genres come to life at beastsofwar.com. Okay, so we're back with our mortar half track. Yes. Uh, How did it go together? It went together really well. I was actually kind of surprised because I know that there's always a little bit of discrepancy between a resin kit and a plastic kit. Yeah. Because obviously the molds are different, mm -hmm. so parts tend to be a little out here and there. Yeah. But that fitted together pretty well. I guess right. it's because it's such a heavy, hefty piece. It, even the mold is probably pretty heavy, so it hasn't had. It yeah, it warp can't really warp around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, let's uh, let's get straight into it. We'll, okay. We'll put it under the close camera here. Now that so, is pretty sweet looking, isn't it? You wouldn't know it was a hybrid kit from that. No. You know, it's really, really nicely done. I mean, all your details are preserved. Yep. Your guys in the back are doing their thing. Mm-hmm. And your little driver which I think is a nice touch that all of these should really have. Yeah. It's just fitting in there perfectly. Yeah. It's no, a really, I, really nice little kit. I would maybe recommend you just use the plastic driver that comes with the kit. Right. Um, I have a feeling he sort of fits slightly better into the, the seat. Okay. Whereas this driver is maybe a little bit taller than the plastic one. I'm not too sure. Uh, I don't know. I can live with that. I yeah. really can live with that. I like the fact that you have the, the little reel inside here just so you can actually swing the mortar a bit. Yeah. You're not just locked to that forward firing arc. Yep. It's a, it's a very nice kit and very easy to put together. So, yeah. Well, guys, uh, we'll get one more quick look at it here mm -hmm. on the close camera just because we don't want the second half to be super, super short. <laughs> well, uh, tilt, tilt it up there. and Yeah, so you can see inside. You can see all the storage layout and how the crew, how I've managed to fit the crew in. Um, yeah. You probably do it in a different manner, really, but I don't know. I think I think they fit quite well like that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I don't think there's there's any real issues there. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, uh, that's the mortar half track for Mortar Games. Uh, drop us a comment below. Tell us, have you used these in game? I know John has probably wanted to try these. Oh well, not in my British no. My British don't have these. Oh right, the British don't get these. No. Oh oh well <laughs> oh well, I can live with that. Okay, guys, we'll move on here. We'll get another unboxing, and we'll see you again soon. Keep your blaster handy, the West is a dangerous place. Fight to survive as men turn to monsters and the dead rise on the Wild West Exodus Hub at beastsofwar.com. Fight for the Iron Kingdoms as a warcaster. Take control of the mighty jacks, arcane devices and dark sorceries to bring the fight to the War Machine Hub on beastsofwar.com.